Welcome everybody. Here is the criteria sheet for the Year 12 English Task 1. That is the expository speech or multimodal that will be uh, in conjunction with the documentary studies that we've undertaken so far. You can see that there is now a uh, another column on the left hand side here which is not usually present in the criteria but in there I have included um, information colour coded to go with the criteria for uh, what you can achieve in an A, a B, a C etc. So to start with the first third of the marking sheet is to do with understanding and responding to the context. So you can see the first little part there I've highlighted in red. It's to do with that first piece of criteria which reads the student work has the following characteristics. Exploitation of a range of speech patterns and conventions to achieve specific purposes. And all this means is that it is to do with the introduction, the body and the conclusion. Are they all present and correct? Are they, is there a clear thesis statement in the introduction? Uh, do the body paragraphs follow an accepted structure and contain sufficient elaboration? So have you used all the evidence that you need uh, to back up your, the your thesis statement and to link back to your thesis statement? Uh, and when it comes to presenting the speech, have you maintained all those conventions of producing a speech? The second part there, the student work has the following characteristics, discerning selection, organisation and synthesis of relevant and substantive subject matter to support opinions and perspectives. And that is to do with um, sticking in the time or the word limit, so being able to um, structure your final piece in keeping with the size and parameters that it requires to be. It's also to do with, uh, have you used Examples from the documentaries, have you used decent examples from the documentaries and have you used quotes from the documentaries and are they value adding to what you're trying to say in your, in your piece? Uh, and is the whole thing being written in a very logical fashion? Have you followed um, a structure which tells me perhaps that you're looking first at the one documentary and then comparing with the other? Or have you followed... Um, a, this is what it's like in one and this is how it's shown in the other format. Okay, so is it a logical sort of format? You haven't jumped back and forth between the two documentaries that you're looking at. The third little part there is in green and it says the student work has the following characteristics. Manipulation and control of roles of the speaker, the signer and relationships with audiences. So this is to do with a number of things. Is the language formal and academic? Uh, have you maintained third person all the way through? Um, do you seem to be delivering an educational and informative seminar as opposed to just talking to a group of friends? Um, so have you maintained that role of being a professional speaker? Is the tone correct for this role and this purpose? Moving into that centre criteria, the uh, second lot of stuff there is all to do with the mechanics or the sort of structural pieces um, in your piece. So it's often to do with things like grammar and sentences and punctuation, all of those kind of mechanical things. So the first part there, highlighted in red once again, is uh, the student work has the following characteristics, a discerning combination of a range of grammatically accurate language structures for specific effects including clauses and sentences and written texts. So this is to do with uh, paragraphs generally. Uh, have you got correct sentence structures? Are they grammatically correct? Have you varied the length of them for interest? Um, have you used the grammar of a multimodal presentation? The second section there is in blue. Uh, student work has the following characteristics. It is discerning use of mode appropriate cohesive devices to develop and emphasize ideas and co connect parts of the texts. Sorry. Um, and that's in blue. And that's to do with have you followed a teal structure in your paragraphing? Um, have you contextualized your examples well? So have you managed to explain the relevance of them? Have you put them into a context for us? Um, the examples that you've used, are they adding value to your overall piece? Are you linking them well back to your thesis or have you just chosen them because they're a technique? Okay, so choose judiciously, don't just choose anything. Um, the overall co cohesiveness and um, the use of conjunctions, conjunctions sorry, and connectives in your piece. Have you varied your expressions and structures for interest? Uh, 
The third part there, the discerning use of a wide range of apt vocabulary for specific purposes, is to do with your language choices. So not just have you, you, you chosen um, appropriate language, but also are you speaking in the discourse of documentary analysis? Are you using the specific language that goes with um, documentary analysis? Um, and we've talked about all of those things as far as technique go. And the very bottom thing there is to do with spelling and punctuation, that kind of thing, all those grammatical bits and pieces. So moving down to the final third, the criteria, uh, and that is all the things to do with the holistic piece, the, the whole piece in its entirety. Uh, and you can see the very first thing there, to do with evaluating analysis and linking back to your thesis, is highlighted in red, it says the student work has the following characteristics, a discerning analysis of the ways, ideas, attitudes and values that underpin texts and influence audiences. So that's to do with the ideas across the whole piece of your work. Have the docos been analysed well? Uh, have the examples been chosen for their very best effect to add value to what you're trying to say? Uh, have the very best devices been chosen to illustrate your thesis? Okay, not just any old devices, not just ticking off a list to say I've um, chosen two devices or two, two techniques from my documentary, but that you've chosen the one which is speaking most to what you're trying to um, assert in your thesis. The second part there is in blue, subtle and subtle and complex evaluation of perspectives and representations of concepts, identities, times and places and texts. And that's to do with your thesis across the whole piece. Have you effectively linked back all the time to your original thesis statement? Has what you've said in your body paragraphs and onwards always linked back to your original premise? And the very final thing there is in green, and it is the discerning evaluation of aesthetic features and the effects in texts. And that is, once again, holistically, across the whole piece, has this been answered effectively? Has your whole piece addressed the task question at hand in an um, effective and meaningful manner? Okay, so that is probably all the best advice I can give as far as the criteria sheet for this task goes. Um, this is for sharing with parents and students alike, and I hope this is of hope, help and value in your assessment work. Many thanks.